Oh, hello, hi. My name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Got a quick little editing workflow tip for you. I've mentioned this a few times in some other videos, but I realized I didn't have a specific video that just gave you this tip. And it's so good, I think it deserves its own video because it'll speed up your editing. So good. And before we jump in, I want to remind you that we have a brand new training out Resolve 17 end to end. That's where I walk you through the entire workflow of editing a film in DaVinci Resolve. Everything from organizing the media and kind of getting started, doing rough edits, all the way through fusion, color, fair light, putting on the final touches and rendering. It's a huge course. It's over 18 hours of training. You can download the footage and follow along. It's a good time. It's available at groundcontrol.film. There's also a link in the description. So let's dive into the tip here. We have this clip. This is just from a recent vlog family video thing. Hey, Che, you wanna talk on the camera? What have we done so far today, Chase? Well, we, we saw over there, but we haven't saw over there yet. Is that what we're gonna do next? Yes. So we have this clip where I'm asking my son a question, and a lot of the time when you have an interview or anything like that, you generally cut out the question and then just have the response. What have we done so far today, Chase? So for this edit, we can probably just start with his response, which is right here. We, we saw over there, but we haven't saw over there yet. We can probably just cut right there. So we have the beginning and the end of this to cut. Now we could do something like grab our razor and cut it here and cut it here and then select this clip and hit delete and select this clip and hit delete. And that would work fine. We, we saw over there, but we haven't saw over there yet. But once you do this a few times, that can get a little tedious. One of my favorite keyboard shortcuts is ripple trim. Here's how it works. You put your playhead where you want to cut. So let's say right here. Let's just play this to make sure. We saw over there. Okay. What we really want to do is cut this right here and then get rid of everything before this cut right? Which is a little fancy called ripple trim start to playhead. And the default keyboard shortcut is control shift left bracket and watch what happens. Boom. It does that all at once. Slow motion. It cuts it here, selects this and deletes it. And similarly, we can do that at the end. Is that what we're going to do next? Yeah. So let's say we want to do that right here. Control shift right bracket. We'll cut this at the playhead, select this and delete it. Here we go. Control shift right bracket. Boom. This single shortcut is an absolute game changer. This will speed up your editing probably twice as much. And to make it even faster, what I like to do is set a custom keyboard shortcut so that I don't have to use three fingers on the keyboard. So how we do that is go up to DaVinci Resolve in the upper left hand corner and select keyboard customization. And this is where you can put in all of your keyboard stuff. And the good thing is if you know the keyboard shortcut, you can look up whatever it's called, because honestly, it's sort of hard to find the commands, especially if you don't know what the command is called. But if we select control shift right bracket, this is called end to playhead. And if we click on this, we'll see end and start to playhead right here under this little ripple thing. So let's add a shortcut to that. All we have to do is click this little plus button right by the current shortcut. I'll click this and end to playhead. I like to set as W and start to playhead. I like to set as Q because W is sort of on the right side, Q is on the left side. And the reason why I pick Q and W is that it's right by S, which I like to set for our control backslash, which is split clip. So I'll click on split clip and split clip. I like to set as S for split. Now we have S, Q, and W set, and check this out. What have we done so far today, Chase? If I want to quickly trim something, I just hit Q, and at the end, W, and I can even cut out like the middle of something just by hitting S. That will kind of set the limit of what I want to do, and then if I want to cut out that middle, I just hit Q, because that'll ripple trim this clip all the way up to this edit right here. So Q, W, and S, you can really go through and make changes really quickly just by dragging your playhead. You don't even have to let go of your playhead. You can just trim things. Sometimes I'll turn off snapping because it's a little bit easier to do exactly what I want. You can go through and just make things a little bit tighter and it's a really nice way to work. So I hope that's helpful for you in your adventures. Here's more videos on DaVinci Resolve. Check out this place we went. Isn't that cool? And there's little shell bow. That's cool. Oregon coast. You know what I'm saying? You guys ever been to the Oregon coast? It's pretty, it's pretty awesome.